in the last 10 years, the number of uses that we've expanded to looking at ultrasound, using ultrasound to look at different diagnoses has probably um, multiplied by factors of 10. It's, we have so many uses of ultrasound now, and, it, and every year we pick up a couple more things that we use it for. I use it probably on more than 10 patients a day. So, um, like for instance today, there was a guy who came in with chest pain and shortness of breath and a low blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the fastest uses of ultrasound. You can kind of evaluate multiple things in just a couple minutes and, and that exam is called the E-FAST exam or extended fast exam. They had other great cases in the ER. We've diagnosed heterotopic pregnancies in the ED with ultrasound cancers that nobody knew about, liver abscesses and young people, so many things that, that you wouldn't necessarily diagnose if you hadn't done the test that led to a change in outcome. Now the residents have a month of ultrasound training um, during their residency. So what we do when they first get here, they first were getting here as R2s and they would have two weeks of ultrasound. Um, where we do three days of lectures and hands-on and then we basically just do scanning shifts and go around the department, split the residents up into small groups and do ultrasound for, um, they got two weeks in the first two weeks and then in the next two years they get two more weeks and during that time we go over QA ultrasounds uh, twice a month and then journal club for ultrasound with the latest articles and then more scanning shifts. They also work with Dr. Waltman in cardiology to learn how to read echoes and do echo ultrasounds with the techs upstairs at Thornton and they have a little bit of time working with the tech at Thornton too just to learn a little bit different techniques. When the residents graduate, they, they all have over 150 exams. We kind of set it up to meet the ASEP guidelines of 150 exams, and they're all certified by the time they graduate. And we keep track of their numbers during residency. Um, also, some of that, in addition to that, they also do almost all lines are ultrasound guided. Um, I have a subclavian study for ultrasound ultrasound subclavians versus traditional method, um, so they're all taught that. We're one of the very few places in the country who do that. Um, so all procedures, they do ultrasound guided, plus all the normal ASAP guidelines, plus we do a lot of ocular and a lot of other things while we're here. So they come out very well trained. Happy to say that there's um, out of our recent two years of grads, we have at least three or four of them heading up ultrasound programs for their hospitals.